Hi guys, Barnaby. Uh, just finished Tottenham 2, Stoke 2. This is my post-match review. Utter devastation. I'm sure you can hear it in my voice. Uh, total depression. The first half we were outstanding. Totally excellent. Um, NASA Chadley had an incredible game. Again, Kyle Walker I thought looked good on the right. Toby Alderweireld just a colossus with Jan at the back. Stoke didn't have a sniff. They had one chance from Hugo Lloris doing a bad kick straight out to their striker and one other header which uh, you know seemed to be a, a, a continuing theme because some of the goals in the second half came from exactly that from crosses to headers but like I said in the first half we were 2-0 up great goal from NASA Chadley where Ben Davis made a terrific run set in by Harry Kane on the left and uh, you know, 2 0, happy days, and you just can't see Stoke getting back into it. And then the second half, we sit off and we sit off. Then Poch makes a change. He takes Kane off because he's got an, uh, a calf knock and brings on Eric Lamella. And the only reason I can think for him doing that, for bringing Lamella on instead of maybe trying to shore it up in midfield, is he wanted to give Lamella confidence and he wants Lamella to work so badly. I feel like even Daniel Levy has said to Pochettino, we've spent so much money on this kid that we've got to get him in the games. We've got to get him com his confidence up. But Lamella came on and I can't protect him anymore. He did everything wrong. He was giving the ball away. He was trying to take people on when he should have passed it. And uh, he wasn't covering back Kyle Walker. And the first goal they got from a penalty from Toby Alderweireld to make it 2-1 was uh, as a result of Lamella not helping Kyle Walker on the right, Arnautovic getting in, giving it to Ireland. He plays Arnautovic in onto the, uh, into the touchline. And uh, Toby Alderweireld tugs his shirt. It's a pen. And from there on in, the momentum swing was even bigger than it had already been. And you just saw it come in, and they scored again 85th minute. From a ball over, we struggled from crosses all day and just scored the equaliser. And after that, it could have been 3-2 Stoke. We just don't have the leadership required to get us out of those situations when, when the momentum switches. What you need to do, I remember um, Martin Yoll talking about it, Harry Redknapp talking about it. You need to know how to kill games off. And if that's not by getting a third goal, it's got to be by keeping the ball. As soon as the, the middle of the second half came and we were 2 0 down, Stoke put a high press on and we stopped playing it short from Hugo. So Hugo was just knocking it long and the ball was coming straight back to us, every, uh, back to them every time. We lost possession, we lost control of the game, and that's where the momentum swing, swing happened. And that's why we drew the game 2 all. Only positives I can think of other than our performance first half is we lost this game last year, so we've got a draw, but it's really hard to take that after being 2-0 up. You cannot draw games 2 all at home against teams like Stoke and expect to improve. You know, we've signed uh, Clinton and G today, that's a positive, but really difficult coming away from today, I have to say. I haven't felt this depressed for a long time, but it, you know, as they've all been saying, it, it is typical Spurs. And I have to say, bringing Lamella on for Kane like he did today, Pochettino will get his first bit of stick, I think, as a Spurs uh, manager today. And it's sad to say that. Um, guys, let me know whether you agree or disagree in the comment section. That's my viewpoint of the game from where I was sitting. Don't forget to uh, subscribe to the channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter, at TV. Come on, you Spurs, somehow.